Okay, here's one I wouldn't have believed if I hadn't <clears throat> seen it from my own eyes and built one myself. Um, if you go to YouTube or even Google, write that in, acetone battery. And this gentleman right here has built one. Dive 5 Fish, also at YouTube, is experimenting with it. And I made one today that runs Penny. And that's the voltage on the cell right there. That's um, 1.12 uh, 1 volts on that cell right there. And all it is is a piece of magnesium and a piece of cardboard, or um, a copper, with uh, acetone. And this happens to be nail polish remover. And I, I actually used a nail polish remover on another one. And it's the same thing. And I just put that together with a couple of pieces of paper and stapled it. Put it in that Ziploc bag. And it runs this oscillator. Let me hook it up here. Give it a second to charge up. There it goes. And I ran this for uh, several hours today just to see what uh, what would happen. And it's hanging in there. And I've got that sealed up in that plastic bag. And uh, these uh, Ziploc plastic bags don't dissolve in acetone, I found out. But that's just paper. And there's no crystals, there's no salts, there's no nothing. It's just acetone. You pour the acetone on that paper after you build it, put it in a Ziploc bag, and it runs an oscillator. And I thought that was extremely interesting. Anyway, um, this was the first uh, person that did it right here. It was 72FR250 uh, on YouTube. And he was using uh, activated charcoal, carbon, and magnesium. And then dive fly fish was showing it being done with just carbon with a crystalline uh, structure between the two pieces of carbon and then my cell is magnesium copper with that acetone formula there is no water in there I mean there was no water ever there's no hydrate crystal there's no nothing it's just a couple of pieces of paper with those electrodes on it with acetone poured on it put in a Ziploc bag. Now I would like to know if anyone's out there how this is happening and I'm sure there's a transfer of ions through the medium somehow there but I'd sure like to know what is going on at the surface of those two metals with that chemical because this is not like normal uh, um, cells that I've made. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is just something new and different that I'm trying here. And we'll see how long this little cell runs. Thanks.